Hi, my name is Stephanie, and we're going to read Pinocchio from Classes to Bora by C. Pilati. Chapter 22, and the catch, the ca and catches the thief. After Pinocchio had slept, excuse me, put my glasses on. After Pinocchio had slept soundly for, them, for more than two, two hours, he was awakened about min, midnight by the sound of whispering and voices saying, Hist! Hist! Which seemed to come from the barnyard. Thrusting the end of his nose out of the door, he saw four animals with mottled coats, something like cats. But they were not cats. They were whistle, weasels. Bloodthirsty animals fond of eggs and young chickens. One of the number, one of the number now approached the dog house and said in a low voice, Good evening, Milapo. I'm not Milapo, replied the puppet. Who are you then? I am Pinocchio. Play watchdog. There is where is Monopolio, the old dog who formerly lived here? He died this morning. Dead? Poor fellow. He was a good dog, but judging from your looks, you are a good dog too. I beg your pardon? I am not a dog. What are you then? I'm a puppet. And you're just playing watchdog? Yes. By way of punishment? Well, I should like to make the same agreement with you that we had with Monopolo. What is that? asked Pinocchio. We will come here once a week, as we have in the past, said the weasel, and carry out eight chickens. Seven of them we shall eat, and one we shall give you we shall give to you on condition. Remember that you pretend to sleep and do not give any alarm. And did, and did Milapo do that? Yes, indeed. And the plan worked finely. Now go to sleep and rest assured that upon leaving, we will give you a nice fat chicken for your breakfast. Do you understand? Only too well, replied Pinocchio, with a nod as much as to say, I'll see you later. When the four weasels felt that they were safe, they, cre they creaked one by one to the hen house, opened the little wooden door with their teeth, and slipped inside. But no sooner did they get in that in, no sooner did they get did they got in than they heard the door slam shut with a with a bang. It was Pinocchio who had closed the door, and not. Content with that, he rolled a big stone up against it to, to keep it shut. Then he, then he began to bark. Bow, wow, 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 just like a dog. At the sound of the barking, the farmer jumped out of the bed, seized his gun, and came to the window calling out, What's the matter? I've caught the thieves replied Pinocchio, where? In the hen house. I'll be, at, I'll be down at once. And before you could say beans, the farmer was there. He walked into the hen house, caught the weasels, put them in a sack and said with much satisfaction, so I've got you at last. I won't try to punish you, but I'll send you to the next town where they can make use of your, of your, of your pelts. Then turning to Pinocchio, he said, how did, you, how did you happen to discover their plot? My God, Milapo, who was, who, Milapo, Milapo was never able to catch them. The puppet attempted to tell what he knew about the agreement between the, between the dog and the weasels. But remembering that the dog was dead, he thought to himself, what good will it do to X accuse the dead? 
the best thing to do was to let him lie in peace. Were you asleep or awake when the weasels came? asked the farmer. I was asleep, replied Pinocchio. But they awoke me by whispering together, and one of them came up to me and said, If you promise not to bark and awaken the farmer, we will give you a chicken. How could they have dared to make such to make me such a proposal? I don't propose to help thieves. Good boy, said the farmer, patting him on the shoulder. Such such sentiments do you honor. And to show my own gratitude to you, I shall set you free to go on your way. And he took off the dog collar. Oh, that's it. Thank you.